Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode 36 of Let's Play Austrian Arrogance for EU4. So, where we left off left, where we were just beating up on France a bit. You know, we're beating up on France in the Austrian Milanese excommunication war. But it's basically me versus France, because, you know, France just can't keep their nose out of things. Oh, what's this then? Oh, France wants to fight one more time, apparently. Okay, um, this seems important enough. Let's leave, uh, Johan behind. Let's take his army. Oh, was Johan here? I didn't mean to click on him, I went to click on this guy. There we go. Ferdinand, um, why don't you go ahead and just detach. And then go forward. And Joseph Ketterer as well. Let's just, let's just reinforce well. You know, take it serious. The French are about to give up, I think. Not that they've learned anything over the last few years. They seem pretty pretty bad at deciding when to give up. Keep throwing themselves. Look at this. It's uh, hills. I mean, they just throw themselves into river crossing into hills. It's brilliant. Switzerland, Switzerland just declared war on the lawn. Okay. Oh, my yikes, there's another army over there. Well, I hope that these guys can hold out briefly uh, long enough that we can actually uh, take on that army. Yikes. Come on, France! Stop fighting me! The damn hills. They are going to lose this, uh, this army. There we go, we finally won. Looks like they went all the way down to dead. Except for with this army. Okay, um... Hmm. Who's got the best maneuver score? Three, Joseph Ketterer. I guess we take a tiny army like this guy and chase down that stack and then... You guys... You're sieging, but you don't really have a lot of siege progress. Let's just go that way. There we go. I didn't want to lose that battle. And, uh, do we want to leave Joseph Ketterer behind? Let's leave Ferdinand behind and just maybe go forward with this army. This is a lot. I have so many extra regiments. Like, this guy, look at this. Wh which one is it? So one of these guys has a stupendous... There he is. 31 regiments, 12 regiments, 1 regiment. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, 3,600 troops calling themselves 31 regiments. I think we're just going to combine. And then other than that, maybe, um... I'm gonna take your army. Leave you with one cannon. The rest of the cannons can combine with Joseph Ketterer. We got a somewhat of a fighting force here. Let's go over here. Do we want to fight here? Hills, woods, plains? No. Go that way. It's almost always better to be the defender, it seems. Military access from Switzerland. Sure. Who are we to prevent you from fighting? Meanwhile, how's the war here going? Serbia's fighting Ukraine. Seems interesting. Okay. Um, Hungary's trying to siege, but they don't have much siege progress. It just started. This seems to be, again, I, I keep saying it probably, but the last bastion of the forces. We're almost there. We've reached the walls, fortunately, so I'm hoping that this war will end soon. Maybe we even take some of the cannons up to here. Make it a little bit quicker. I suppose as long as they have one, then that's enough. Peace offer from Serbia. Serbia will give core Moldavia to Moldavia. I decline, because I think there's more than just that that I wanted. I can't recall. Sue for peace. Um... Yeah, I want it too. It's going to cost me 74 Diplo points to make Moldavia bigger. But we're about to annex them, so I'm basically paying diplomatic points just to gain free land. Free cores. 
Which seems fine, but I do want more than just the one. I want both. Please? Both please. Not too much to ask, right? These are the ones that I care a little bit more about. So keep those up. Hopefully this just happens. I'm tired of waiting. Come on, Baden. Baden, Baden, Baden. You don't want to be in this war. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to Baden. Really? Well, that's not going to work for me. Joseph Ketterer disagrees. Hey, we took Baden. Nice. You want to come fight? Then we're willing to accept the engagement. Come on over. It's not going to go well for you. What is the war score against Baden now? 14% and we want them to release Alsace and give Constance to Wurttemberg. Wurttemberg is um... Wurttemberg? Where are you Wurttemberg? There he is. Wurttemberg is our same dynasty. So there's a chance we could just inherit them or something. I don't really remember how that works but... Yeah, we want them to give both those things. So Baden, see for peace. It would cost me 37 points, but uh, you know that's that's kind of what diplomacy's for. So give that to Wartenberg, they'll become a sovereign state, and that's about it, really. I wonder how France's army is actually doing. France has 11,000 troops. Kazan has a civil war. Oh no! Okay, are you willing to give me what I want yet? No. Oh. Demands exceed war score. It's 56 war score. We're only at 41, so we're going to need to take that other holding. Supply limit here. Uh, actually, we're really high up on siege status. So I think we just need to throw some troops at it. Let's just take the cannons over. You can always grab the cannons up again later. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hopefully they get there in time. Yep, look at that. They got there one day early. Still didn't wasn't enough though. Sadly. Seven percent attrition, good lord. Peace offer from Baden. No. Not until you give me exactly what I want. Now after we kind of reestablish all these princes, I'm thinking I'm still going to keep the war going and I'm going to take, take some serious stuff from France as well. See if anybody has any claims on French territory. And maybe even we could take that, uh... Oh shoot, I took that mission. Probably should cancel that. Oops. Oh, okay, so we lose the Restoration CB as soon as we cancel the mission. Whatever. I know some people think it was a mistake, and it may have been. But that's what we're doing. Okay, you're willing to accept now, yes? Okay, so you do the two things that I want. You will also... Yeah, I know your treaty with Bavaria. Sure, why not? And you'll give you some money. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Good! Five more Imperial Authority, thank you. And Wurttemberg's a little bit bigger, they should be happy with us. Return to territory, plus 40. And from here now, um, Serbia. I wonder if Serbia is going to be willing to play ball. I want them to give stuff back to Moldavia. They're almost there anyway. I don't think I really need to do anything. Unless they get lucky and siege Ukraine. I think the next target really is going to be uh, Utrecht. Go up to Utrecht. Utrecht has a province that they need to release, Gallery. So we just go siege them. And hopefully Serbia is going to be willing to peace out. Maybe Hungary actually. Look at this. 
Look at this little... Oh, look at that wall's breached! Yay! One cavalry, one red, one infantry is enough from Hungary to just take Serbia to their knees. It's funny. Very funny. Now, unfortunately, we can't blockade this. I'm not going to take my ships all the way up there. Where am I? I mean, we have coastal provinces. Maybe we do. Sure, why not? Come on up. We'd be fighting against a couple heavies, but, you know, it's still... Ooh, and France has a fleet. Seven heavies, 15 trade ships. I don't know. I think we have enough ships that we could probably be okay. Military access from Bade? Sure, it's fine. I'm not upset with you. You just... You were on the wrong side of the war. It's your own fault. Land maintenance modifier? Or do we want to actually go with maybe a level 2 guy? How are we doing on income? Actually making a little bit of money. Mercenaries are costing us 14 gold a month. So we should probably get rid of some of those. After the war. Is over. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything up here that's really that appealing. I think we just take the land modifier guy. This war has actually worked out very, very well for me. It's allowed me to restore one, two, three, four separate, like four separate little wars to restore princes, which is awesome. And we're going to take some stuff from France. You know, the problem is it'd be nice if we actually had that mission available to to defend that region thing, the southern Netherlands or whatever it's called. The region, where's the region map? See, I don't even, you don't even use most of these, so here it is. Yeah, Artois. If we take that, we could defend the Spanish... Netherland, or not Spanish, sorry, the Southern Netherland, something. Something, something, Netherlands, is what I saw. Okay? Brandenburg has accepted peace. It's fine. It's an omen. Damn. There goes stability. <laughs> Those are bound to happen from time to time. No problem with that, Trier. It's totally fine with me. We do need to get out of this war at some point soon, though, because it's already past the point where I can start annexing or whatever, uh, Hungary. Oh, hey, Serbia. Looks like Ukraine, uh, looks like Hungary took that last thing. We, are you willing to accept now? Look at that, they are. So give back two provinces and, uh, give me money. And annul your treaties? No. Let's not, let's not push it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Bye-bye, Serbia. So our little guy gets bigger. He's ready to be vassalized or annexed or whatever next as well. So this war is getting a little bit thin. Brittany's the only one with high war enthusiasm. They're just like, yeah, totally, dude, let's fight. We've got twice as many infantry now. Way, way more cavalry. Way, way, way more inf uh, artillery. The Navy's looking pretty equivalent, though. So sending my fleet out here might be dangerous. Oh, and look at that attrition. Damn. Hey, never mind, go home. Good God, they're going to die just trying to fly out to, to get out there. I'm going to lose my whole fleet. They're slow. Can we get some, like, fleet basing or something from somebody? We could get fleet basing from Naples. Let's do that temporarily, because my ships are going to die. There we go. Thank you. I don't want to lose any of these boats. Yeah, forget the idea of sending them way out there. That's crazy. And as soon as we get home, I'm going to cancel fleet basing. So we don't actually want to pay for anything. Paying for things is silly. Wouldn't you agree? I know I would. Hmm. 
gonna actually go up to speed four because I think that we've we've pretty much tamed the beast. Really, I mean France has three thousand eight hundred men now. They are at their knees. Their war exhaustion, though, is the number that I really care about. I want to get their war exhaustion up to twenty. We've won our siege. We've just gained the Imperial Liberation CB against the Hansa, so sounds like we have our next war target. Let's grab the uh, artillery and just advance them. I don't want to get any attrition here. So again, every time I say, oh god, I really want to, uh, you know, I want to beat up France and get them to 20 war exhaustion, then something else comes up that I want to do. Hey, how lucky. 28% chance and it worked. Okay, let's sue you for peace. You're going to release Gallery. Uh, you're going to know your treaties with France. Just, just know your treaties with all the people. It's fine. And uh, transfer trade power, sure. Because we can. Send demand. Four more Imperial Authority. And one more person out of the war. Now, the great thing about it is that, like, Gallery here loves us. Released some priests. Everyone, all these princes love us for having been released. So now... Really, the only person that's left is uh, Milan, which, of course, we, we want them to release stuff, too. Let's take a look at the actual war and what we actually want to have happen. So, from France, we want release nations. And we don't want any of that stuff. I thought we wanted, yeah, Mantua. Release Mantua. Let's see if we can maybe release another, like, nation-state from France that's close to us that we could then vassalize. We can make them release Burgundy. Holy crap. Release Mantua and Burgundy. So Burgundy would come back. And then we could... <laughs> we could totally just vassalize Burgundy. That's it. That's what we want. And actually, they're willing to agree to that right now. As is. Seriously? That's amazing that they'd be willing to accept. Relative strength of alliance is hugely in our favor. They're very, very weak. What else could we get from them, though? Oh, yeah. That one, too. That one too? Oh my gosh, they're willing to accept like everything. Am I am I seeing what I'm seeing here? Like these war scores don't seem to add up. They're just like, okay, sure. We'll give away everything. But seriously, if they're willing to just, like, become this fractured thing, let's just let's just do it. And give me money. Damn straight. Hell yeah. Bye-bye, France. <laughs> Alright, so Prince has been restored. Provence has been has risen from the ashes. 12 Imperial Authority. Burgundy has risen from the ashes. Plus 20. Mantua, plus 5. Jeez, I didn't even realize we were going to get that much. I should have spent some of those points. So obviously we can enact the current reform. Everyone's in favor of it. Jeez! So bye-bye, France. France doesn't exist anymore. Does it seem like you're supposed to be able to do that? I don't know. I mean, Burgundy probably loves us. Everyone loves us, right? Released in peace, rival. Oh, you're still rivaled to me. Seriously? You dummy. Fine. But these guys love us. Guyenne. You're uh, a little upset with me. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here, and we'll analyze the situation in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.